Hi everyone, it's Ann Hoffman. Wow, I'm on a roll tonight. <clears throat> I'm in an empty house. Grandkids are everywhere, so I guess just uh, nervous energy or bored. But anyway, I just want to go ahead and share uh, how I created this uh, invitation because I posted it um, a while back and I, I actually I forgot. I forgot to show uh, how it was done. So I'm going to do that now. Um, and let me just minimize this so I have my own visual because they're going to start coming home soon. And of course, I will get distracted. I'm going to start with this absolute bottle first. And those of you that are, you know, follow me to a certain degree know that I try not to do things on the virtual mat because it is white. Uh, and it's hard for me to tell exactly what I've got going on. So I trace and do things uh, to the side on the gray so I can see this white background. So step one is you need to trace uh, and detach uh, your bottle or whatever it is. I mean, it could be a can of Mountain Dew. It could be, you know, whatever you want it to be as far as your invitation go. It could be um, a cartoon character. The main thing that you want to do for trace and detach is um, put on blinders for whatever's going on in the middle. That's not your concern. You want to make sure that the outline is yellow. And I'm going to increase this just so I can see the top of it. So I'm doing okay on the size. I still have a little work on the bottom. I'm not getting yellow here or here or across the top. So I need to come to this threshold and increase it some. It takes a while for it to catch up with me going live on Facebook. And again, um, I'm not at all worried about what's going on in the center. But I have everything where I want it except for this little area right here on the top. So I have to use the uh, arrow keys to watch it and see where I'm going. And hopefully, I think that that's good. I'll do 97. Just making sure that the top is right. Then I do trace and detach. And now I can pull this from it, click on this, and delete it. And I'll do this uh, bottle next. I just like to make them bigger for more detail and of course uh, my eyesight so that's the trace area I want to work on so I really need to increase some stuff here to get to where I need to be and I'm gonna stop there and start um, give up the slider and start using my arrow and I have yellow all the way around so I'm happy and I'll say trace and detach and I can pull that bottle and click on this and delete it so now we have our two bottles and that was really I guess the hardest part of it the rest of it is just remembering to make yourself some duplicates um, and uh, I have this one now uh, and I'm not going to resize it because I duplicated it. If I start playing around with this size, that isn't going to fit. So the next thing that we want to do basically is um, I'm going to make this uh, copy of it and I'm just in, in figuring out whatever color because this is the front side, that's the front, and this is the back if you're just going to do one piece. Uh, a front and back if that's what you want to do with it and so in order to do that all I did was basically just duplicated it and went to I can close this now went to my palette tool and just clicked on a color and you know the lines are default to be red and those those red lines drive me crazy so I like to make it that so this is the front of the bottle and that's the back of the bottle if that's what you're using for, um, let me duplicate this one, pull that out some. 
Uh, so for here, I'll use the dropper because I want to try and get this color. Who knows, that might be the color paper that I use. And there we go. So I have my front and my back uh, when it's just one. This right here, what I did is um, when you have it like a, a folding card and my score line, I made it big on purpose just to know that this is what uh, that score line is. Yours wouldn't necessarily be that big, although uh, with the score, you'll it won't cut it all the way. It'll just uh, score it for you. But in order to get that uh, done, it's a little bit trickier. Let's close this. Because what you're going to be doing, in essence, is taking this, and I'm going to duplicate this bottle, and I'm putting it right next to it. Because what I want to do, well, I need to go and pick a different color blue just so that we can see what's going on. Because we need to be able to fold this, where this is the bottom and this would be uh, the top. And then what you would do in essence, let me bring this to the front. Once you make your card, uh, then I'm sure you'll cut these out, use some spray adhesive, and position them right on top so that you have this bottle there. Because I just don't know if you can get this close enough. Uh, you might be able to with you playing around to where that's your bottom. And this is actually the top And when you do your printing cut with it. But just getting back to making these score lines. So what you want to do is to, you know, obviously you have to overlap them uh, in order to weld them together. And so I have this one selected. I'm going to click on the transparency just to kind of let me know where I'm at. And obviously I'm not overlapped enough because you can see the transparency in here now. And that's what I wanted to see, just how close am I to it. I need to allow myself enough of a fold and of course, you'll go through making sure that it's aligned. So there is enough overlap. So I'm going to hold both of them together and weld. And so, I was, you know, it turns to this solid color. So now I have it, but I need my fold line. And it looks like it would be dead center between here and there. But instead of guessing, I'm going to click on, you notice how you have a ruler at the top? I don't think basic has the ruler. Maybe it starts in designer. But you have a ruler at the top, and you have a ruler on the right side. Click on the ruler and just drag one of those bars over so that you can sort of position where the middle is. That's where I'm going to say that it is. Um, and then I'm going uh, over here to my line tool. And I'm going to hold the shift key down so that my line stays straight. Is my line straight? No, it is not straight. It's straight with where I clicked. <laughs> I can't tell. Let me do some color so I can see where I am. And click on this line, rather. I need to see. And I'll increase it, the thickness on it so that it gets so thick yeah uh, obviously that's too thick but i have where i want it so i'm going to click on that guide and delete it uh i can reduce the thickness on this but i'm going to click back over to color and maybe need to click here first oh bill that's what happens when you have too many of those up on your screen there we go so I wanted to get something lighter. Now I can go back and uh, choose the right line style I want. And this is like for the scoring on it. It looks really big because, in essence, I have increased this thickness. So I'm just going to reduce this thickness down. And you see that the, the dotted score lines are getting smaller. Because really about 2 is all, 2.0 is about all that that a person really needs. 
So now, I am holding the shift key down as I get rid of uh, the area where I went over the line. I could have also just clicked, well, it was locked over there. The locking holds the uh, dimensions so that it doesn't get distorted. But this would be my folding. That's the bottom. It folds there in the middle. And then this is the top. So once you weld this to this, I think that it also will take on a um, more dominant piece. We'll, we'll, well, let me use this one here as an example. And let's find, find out together. I'm going to duplicate it because I'll need it for something else. But if we weld these, and these Ciroc bottles are more difficult because of the angle where they are. So I'll click here, and I want to use a transparency just to see kind of where am I at. Bring it to the front. Now you can see uh, the shadow of it. But because of how the bottle is shaped, you're doing okay here, but you have a whole lot more going on there. So it took me a minute to figure out how to get this flat. And to do it, I just really kind of played around uh, with it. Um, I didn't hold the shift key down. Just to sort of drag it out uh, a little bit. This might work. So I'm going to click on this now and bring this transparency down. And let's see what happens. I think this bottle is going to turn this color uh, when we weld. Nope, this one actually went white uh, on us. And as you can tell, that really didn't um, give the dimensions that we wanted. So what I would do is take this bottle here and duplicate it. And get them lined up maybe as you center them over here, center them to the bottom, and then just click on one. I'm going to change it to a different color just to be able to now start to stretch them to where one side does overlap. And there's a little bit right there at the top. So now I might have both of them set. And so I'll weld. And of course, we know they're going to take on the same color. Again, I just looked at where this position is on the ruler up here. Grab one of, click on the ruler, grab a guide to guide me to where the center of this should be. And that's where I came up with that. Um, and of course, going to the line tool. Now that I have a guide to guide me, I can click right on that. line and I have my line. So now to be able to see it, I, I certainly would recommend getting a, a lighter color or color or something that's different. And then uh, go ahead and pick how you want your line. That's more of them there. But I need to thicken it up now just so I can see kind of where everything is. So it was really not that hard. Um, for me, I guess it, it would be trying to determine uh, what I wanted to use. I don't drink, but um, I know that this was something that was popular. So I'm going to select all three of these, which uh, both of these, which are both of these bottles that I welded and the line. You can't see. Yeah, I think you can see the little X, the little box at the top of it. But anyway, I'm just going to group both of those and move them over to the side. This one here, likewise. 
to the side. And then of course you saw how I did the trace on it. So that's all it was to actually creating uh, what you saw here. They're really easy. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions, of course, you can always tag me in them.